What's up everybody? We are back at the shop today. We have a lot to talk about. There is a lot of progress on this next batch of 40 lookouts. Um, today we are going to be showing, uh, Mac is finishing up the last few handles. He only has a few more left to hand shape. Um, then he's just got to laser the logo, put a sharp edge on it, and they are about ready to roll. So we are in the final stages of this next batch. We are hoping to release these like end of next week. Sign up for our newsletter to make sure you get in. That's the first place that we are going to announce these. A week from today, next Friday the 8th. Make sure that you're signed up for that newsletter to get that notification that these have gone live. There's only gonna be 40, so they're very limited, handmade lookouts. This is the first batch before we go into the full production model. Speaking of production models, our standard line, this one is M390 with grade five titanium scales. It has been a busy week at the office. So if you've DM'd us on Instagram, commented on YouTube, I'm sorry I've not gotten back to you. It has been crazy. Thank you to everybody who bought something on our Black Friday sale, who supported us. We cannot thank you enough. Um, we are tired, but we are appreciative and we are thankful for all your support. Um, this knife has been my best friend this week, tearing open boxes, cutting open materials, getting orders out the door. Um, we filled a full truck pretty much every day this week. So, so grateful. We cannot thank you enough for your support. So stay tuned for that newsletter next Friday the 8th on the next 40 Lookouts. Speaking of cool new stuff, gosh, if you guys haven't checked out the TI EDC backpack on Kickstarter, I am in love with this bag. Here's mine. This is one of our samples. My gear tray all packed out for all of my camera gear to do the vlogs. So I've got some, some mounts, uh, some microphones, some ND filters, another shotgun mic, all my goodies, cool hitch and timber toolkit that I, you've probably seen that in another video if you've seen my pocket dumb video. Uh, I've kind of moved that to here, which has been really nice. Computer charger, all that. So I love this bag. If you haven't checked out that Kickstarter, go do it right now. I'll put a link down below. It's fully funded, so it's gonna happen. It is a largest funding goal we've ever had in the Kickstarter, and we hit our goal. We cannot thank you enough if you've backed that. If you haven't checked it out, go check that link below. Well, almost forgot. Microphone. These are the mics we use. It's a DJI dual mic system. Super cool. Shout out to Taylor Martin and Ricky Hernandez for turning me on to these. They're super cool. Be a little hard to go talk to Jarvis if you uh, can't hear him, so I went and grabbed the other microphone out of my bag. Guys, when we say handmade around here, we mean handmade. Look at this. Jarvis is in here hand sanding these boxes. How many of these have you done so far? Oh, 39. 39? So how many does that mean you have left? One more after this one. One more. One more. Woo! My fingers appreciate it. I'm sure they do. <laughs> His fingers are shot. Look at these. Our uh, rough cut out. Now you're kind of finishing sanding them. Finish, finish sanding finish. them. You are finish sanding them yeah. is the term I'm trying to say. These are most of the way there. I'm sure you've seen these in the other videos. We cut them out on the router. Now he is kind of hand, hand sanding them to get them ready to stain. This is kind of what they look like. Post hand sand. There's a few more little details need to be dialed in on it but it's most of the way there. And these are all just like a pressure fit lid. Pressure fits so well, I can't even open it one-handed. Whew, that one's really good. This opens up, there's a nice coin holder there. So these are all gonna have a COA coin, perfectly cut out for the knife itself. Just pressure fit right back on. Jarvis is incredible, he's been making these for us. So each of these knives are gonna come with one of those and a COA coin. Last one. You wanna do it? Hand sand it? Yeah. I don't know if I can handle that. Ooh, where am I? But it's never fun. What? Here, I'll do one for a second. Let's see it. All right, so we're just taking a little piece of sandpaper. We have this nice little edge here that we gotta work off. If you get one of these and they're messed up, you know that I did it. Don't, don't blame Jarvis. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix blame. So you've done every single one of these like this? 
And you just work that edge off of there. Even the little tabs? Yep, even the tabs. Oh my gosh. This is a labor of love. What grid are you using right here? That is 120. 120. 120. Are you hitting them with something Going down lighter? Going to 400 on the finish. What shows have you been watching while you've been doing this? Joe Rogan. Just the Joe Just Rogan Joe podcast. Rogan. <laughs> How long have you been working on these? Forever. Forever? Uh, well, about 18 years I've been back here. About a month all together. A month all in. These are some expensive boxes. We do it for you guys. All nine of you that watch these videos, we do it for you. Almost there. And that's just one of the little tabs. I feel like there needs to be a way for me to mark this one. So if somebody on one that watches the videos buys it, they know which one it was. I'm gonna scratch my initials into it somewhere. Oh, look at this. Oh, I have a fountain EDC on me. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Humbling noise. I think that's looking pretty good. Look at that. What do you guys think? Looking pretty good. Yeah, it's it's getting there. I'm gonna let him actually do it all the way down so I don't, screw, I don't mess it up. So, dude, that's a labor of love. I uh, only have seven sides to do. <laughs> only. I gave him a break for eight seconds. <laughs> These hands are built for talking. They did pretty good. They pretty good. Look at that. That's not too shabby. If I say, do say so myself, here you go. I'm gonna scratch just a little B. Oh, it's terrible. Hopefully the stain covers that up. <laughs> if you get this one, it's not an eight. That's a B, but I did with a fountain pen trying to scratch it. That probably was the wrong idea. Hey, like this intrusive light I got. It's very bright. It's very bright. Very bright. Probably people at home, it's a loom cube. I keep talking about camera gear on these yeah. things. Nobody cares. They should. I'm a gear guy, I like gear. That's why I work for an EDC company, right? So. All this stuff and things. Yeah, I think super cool. Just mounts on the top of your camera. I talked about what mics we have earlier. I talked about our DJI mics. Sawdust mic. Sawdust mic. That's what you have to do. Sweet, all right, I'll get your hair. Thanks, Jarvis. He is hand making all those boxes for you. Next Friday. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. I'm gonna say it eight more times. That's how we're announcing them. So, thanks, dude. Yeah, man. You're the man. The lookout. So apparently, each side takes about an hour and a half. So we do one side, then we have to flip it and do the other side. Then it has to be tumbled. So these things even take three to four hours each. An hour and a half a side. What's up? Oh. What are you doing? Oh no. Come on, man. I had to give you a microphone. That's not fair. No, going so, through and sorting out the bad finishes, getting them cleaned up, getting ready to run them through the ultrasonic cleaner. So find these, which ones are a go and which ones are a no-go. All right, so the Ultim Fountain ADCs are getting very close to being finished in production. We are gonna do a Kickstarter on these as well as the Lookouts. So we got a couple Kickstarters in the works. Um, so Josh is going through and double checking them, QCing some bodies. These are, sorry, these are caps, not bodies. They're caps. These are caps, they are covered in oil. So we have to I'll clean them, let them dry. That 3D printer, man. Pretty neat. That 3D printer has been a huge help. It's worth its weight in gold. Oh my gosh. Especially prototype and yeah. stuff. Mac just showed me like five jigs that he made for lasering. Yeah. So oh, he's been like, making everything with it. Dude, He'll that, that's he's, 3D printer, man. But see, the thing is, is we'll clean it off for him while he's at the fire hall, and then all of a sudden it'll just turn on and start printing, and we never know <laughs> what it's going to be. Because he can like remote into it. Oh right? yeah. yeah, there's a camera in it and everything. That's awesome. All right, so you're putting them on this so they can dry, is that right? No, we were getting ready to run them through the ultrasonic cleaner, which okay. brings them up to a temperature that opens the pores and the plastic and allows the oil to escape. Oh, that's cool. And so we do so that's one. That's like science-y. <laughs> that's super science-y. Yeah, exactly, science. So this is just a jig to put them in the cleaner. So they don't bump together and get scuffs on the outside. Oh, okay. Keeps the integrity of the finish that we worked so hard to get. <laughs> God, those do look good. That finish turned out great. 
So after they come out of the ultrasonic cleaner, they have to be air dried? Air dried. Air dried for how, how long does that take? Ah, it's hard to say. I mean, when we've got, you know, 500 on there at a time, it takes, <laughs> takes a couple of hours, <laughs> yeah. a couple of rotations, you know, to kind of get it. But I mean, main thing is you don't want water spots on them. That's true. Just coming back and having to polish more. Yeah, that just gives us more work on the back end, right? Exactly. We're I'm almost done. We got our we got a few projects that are that are hitting the finish line here down at the shop. The first production runs out of the old USA Big Eye shop. Woo! Plastic. It's this easy to plastic. work with. Ultimate's yeah. easy to work with apparently. No. Negative. What what Negative. you realized the other day, right, that it's kind of porous? Well, it, or you it think basically it's porous? It, what what happens is the oil once we go in there and start cutting it it heats up and the oil absorbs into the plastic. So, if you take it and wait a couple of days this is what Ooh. can happen and that's the oil leaking out from the plastic so running it through the ultrasonic cleaner heats it up to a temperature where that oil can escape once again and therefore no oil left in the pen no bad cap. okay cool sweet i'm glad you figured that out <laughs> yeah yeah that's, that's what r &D been is for i would have been assembling them up at the shop I've been like, these things are greasy messes. <laughs> Josh, that's it, that's, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> We're trying to prevent that for you, Brad. Yeah. Hey, remember that box I was sanding a minute ago? Got my lens all dusty. Here we go. See, I went back there and was talking to Jarvis. He put me to work. He was like, oh, you want to sand one? Yeah, go ahead. I was like, yeah, I'll film it and sand it. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys excited about the Ultim Fountain EDC? I know I am. I love the Fountain EDC, mainly because I kind of headed up that project. It was a lot of fun to do. I'm a big fan of it. I use it every day. This one's been in my pocket almost a year. This is a brass one. Right before Christmas last year, I've been carrying this one ever since. I have a black one too, because the black one's sick. The black one, if you haven't seen, it's got a black nib on it too. It's murdered out. It's awesome. You should go check out the black one. Awesome. I'll get out of your hair. The people wanted an update. Take the mic. Thank you very much. Thank you, my good friend. I'm not going to touch it. I'll tell you. Yeah, he's got greasy hands. Yeah, don't touch my microphone. Thanks, dude. No problem. See you all later. All right, man. We got a ton of stuff coming to the finish line here. We're going to go into the finishing room and we're going to talk to Mac real quick about the last stages of this next batch of handmade lookouts. Let's go check them out. Macintosh. What are you listening to? Podcasts. Wasn't Thin Lizzy? No. Huh. So, how many more of these do you have to do? Seven, seven more. I've done 33. Or am I 33? So he's got them all. These are all hand fit, and he has numbered each set of these. I just realized as I came here and looked at them a few minutes ago, they're all, you probably can't see on camera, there's a number etched into them. And so each one corresponds to a numbered blank. So each one of those set of scales is perfectly fit to one of these blanks. The hardware turned out so good. And this is stonewashed titanium hardware, right? Yes. All about some titanium here at Big Idea Design. Might be our favorite material. I'm a big fan of brass too, but guys, you're going to want one of these. I want one of these so bad. I was just telling Mac that I'm going to have to have one. This might be the perfect color scheme. This could be the thumbnail. Danny always makes fun of me because I, I always hold something up and then I say, this could be the thumbnail. And then I actually make the thumbnail in Final Cut while I'm editing the video. He's like, you're ridiculous. He's like, learn to use Photoshop. I'm like, no, don't overcomplicate my life. All right, make sure I put this back in the right spot. So we're in the home stretch. Yeah, should be done with these today. Nice, so finishing the scales today. Then all we have to do is put on logos. So we gotta put the logo on the side. Right. On the other side, we're putting Magna Cut. I think, it's, I think that's the correct side, so logo. Other side here, Magna Cut. These are Magna Cut, in case you forgot. Magna Cut with green micarta. 63 rock. And then this is a, it's HRC 60? Yeah. Nice. 63. 63, ooh. Is that better? What does Rockwell truly mean? I know it's like a harden, uh, it is the, how hard the it is. Scale. I personally like Magna Cut 63, no higher. 64 gets chippy, but. Like, so if it goes higher, it can be more brittle, is what you're saying. More okay. chippy, brittle. Like we tested a few that we had at 64 and they didn't withstand the torture test. 63 did. Okay. So. Just find the sweet spot. Yeah. Nice. And then, you know, how thin they get at the edge before you put a secondary bubble on and everything. 
because we want you to use these. I showed, I showed you guys mine earlier. This is one of the standard models. Yes. And I've been beating the absolute junk out of this thing all week. Look at that. That's just a bunch of tape, nasty residue. I've not been nice to this thing, and it's been incredible. I texted my Mac the other day, and I was like, I love this thing. Thank you for making it. <laughs> I love this knife, yeah. Well, I do my pocket every day. Yep. Next Friday, be signed up for that newsletter. Let me get your hair, your hair so you can actually finish these. Yeah. You're the man. Trusty. Everybody give Mac a, a shout out in the comments. Remember, Mac is Team Kate also. Oh, yeah, she's So, wife. that's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in case you didn't know, Mac is obviously our knife maker, and then Kate, who helps with our customer service, they are married. <laughs> You're the man. Talk to you soon. Appreciate you. All right, I think that's all we've got today at the shop. Tons at the finish line. We are so excited to get this stuff out into the wild and in your hands. Um, make sure to sign up for the newsletter next Friday. I'm not sure what time. Uh, sometime next Friday, just be signed up for the newsletter. I will send that out for when they are available for sale. They'll probably ship the following Monday. So make sure you are signed up. I'll try to link that below. I truly will. I will try my best to remember to link that below where you can sign up for that newsletter to be notified when they go live. The Ultim Fountain Pens, those are going to be a Kickstarter, like I said. It will be what we like to call a quick starter. So we will actually launch the Kickstarter once they are finished. So they will be done, ready to ship. It'll be a limited quantity, uh, about 500 pieces is what we're shooting for for this first batch. Um, and it'll just be probably a week long campaign or until they sell out. Um, so that way, uh, if you are part of our Kickstarter community, um, we have had such an incredible following on there for gosh, 11 years now. So we have done 45 campaigns on Kickstarter. And so, so big of a core of our customer base and our following is there. So we're gonna try to honor them and we're gonna launch that there as well. So check out our Kickstarter, make sure you are signed up on the newsletter. Go check out the TIC EDC backpack, like I showed you earlier. That thing is live on Kickstarter right now. It has hit its funding goal. They are awesome. I am obsessed with mine. It has been one of the coolest backpacks I've ever personally had. And I've had a lot of backpacks. I've kind of really liked backpacks. So go check all that out. Thank you for watching this video. We will catch you guys in the next one.